Hello, and welcome to my shop. Today, we're going to be building your own headstone. If you can't tell, I am ready for Halloween. I want to start decorating. It's a great time of year. You get to scare kids, your own kids, any other kid that comes around the neighborhood. You get to eat lots of candy if you want, and you get to visit a dentist afterwards. Anyway, last year I built a candy holder, and this year I'm going to be building a headstone for the yard. We're going to have five of them for everybody in my family, and they're going to be all different sizes, shapes. It's a great way to get the kids involved in the designing of it. Um, you don't need a lot of materials. Uh, I will have a material list at the end of the video, um, but two of the main things that you need are a piece of styrofoam from Lowe's, uh, Home, Do uh, Home Depot maybe, uh, just you know wherever you can find them. And if you have anybody on Craigslist that wants to give away pallets, this is a great opportunity to get one and use it. This is a piece of a pallet. Um, it helps with the standing of it. So. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make this headstone. Okay, so the first part that you need to do is go ahead and get your design. I went on Google and just typed in tombstones and I found a bunch of them. And this is the one that me and my daughter decided on. It kind of is like a cross, but not really because of the rounded top. But it's got the different uh, the sides that stick out, so it's kind of unique. Um, and on this one, you've got one side with writing, and then the other side has absolutely nothing. I went ahead and already kind of put a design on here. Um, it's kind of like a tombstone that's been broken. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out, and we'll work on the next stage. Okay, now this part... I didn't let my daughter mess with because it was an electrical uh, tool that cuts and I don't want their hands getting close or anything. I know that's a good opportunity to work on safety, but right now that's just, that's not something I want to deal with. Um, you can use a coping saw. It cuts just as good if you got a deep enough area that you can cut, but this goes very quick. We'll cut it in less than five minutes and you can start working on the next uh, step. Okay, now that you've gotten your, your design cut out, you want to go ahead and get your base established. And the way to do that is just by lining it up across the bottom and cutting it to the exact width. Okay, so you've got your two pieces cut out. Now the reason why you have to cut two is so you can put one on the back side and one for the front side. This helps with the stability of it. And you, can all, and you also screw the screw from this piece of wood into this bottom piece of wood to, uh, to hold it all up. Now we've got it all screwed together, the thing's completely built, now all we got to do is paint it. Okay, so after you have gotten your gray coat on, which is just like a primer, you can use black, just some flat black, and just start kind of misting it over the whole thing to make it a little gloomy-ish. Say so you want it a little dark right there where it's broken. Right there in that crack, you just add it to wherever you want. This is your total design. So you make it however you want it.
Okay, so I've gotten mine all spray painted. The next step is to fill it in with some more of your design. Um, you can put on top whatever you want, RIP, a name, birthday, uh, you know, whatever you want up there. Um, I'm going to be uh, using some craft paint from the local craft store. Just got a piece of cardboard squirted on there and then stencil away. So what do you think? Is it scary enough? For Halloween? Hello. Welcome to my show. Guys, 